The apostles came to Jesus Christ in those days. And they asked him. And they told him that look at this temple. Look at the manner of stone that is built with. While we are trying, trying to tell Christ about the stones of the temple, Jesus turned. He looked at the temple and he told them that do you see all these things? That there is a time coming that there is not one stone which is laid upon another that will not be thrown down. Glory to God in the highest. And it came to pass in those days the temple was demolished indeed when Jerusalem was attacked. But after that again in the future a day is coming when every business in the world will no longer accommodate anybody because God's authority his commandment his pleasure that for man to build houses for themselves for them to lay stones upon another for them to lay bricks upon another and to lay decades upon one another for man to build houses for themselves and for shelter the Lord of heaven and earth is going to withdraw it and when he withdraws it no houses in the world shall stand upon another again no bridges will stand because the day has come for God to withdraw all this authority. Glory to God in the highest. But when the apostles heard it, they now came to meet Christ in the secret. And they asked him that tell us where shall be the signs of these things? What shall be the signs of your return? What shall be the signs of the end of the world? And you must understand what about Christ Jesus. In those days, when the Pharisees asked him for a sign, he rejected the offer. He rejected it instantly. And he called them generation of vipers because he knows what is in their hearts but when the disciples came to him those who heard his voice and they followed him and they walked with him when they came to jesus christ and they asked him what shall be the sign of your coming and of, and of the end of the world then Christ now replied them. Let's see what he said unto them. In that verse 4, Jesus said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yes. Just to sit down. What's the way? That was his first statement unto them. Jesus said, Take heed. Take heed that no man deceive you. Now look at the world of today. Many have been deceived. Many have been deceived into thinking and believing that the beginning of sorrows is the wrath of God. That tribulation of Christians is the wrath of God. That the great tribulation is the wrath of God. Many have been deceived to believe that Christians will not say the great tribulation and they will back up their words with only one verse. 
that we are not appointed unto rods. 